Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to your fourth Java programming tutorial. Um, today is going to be a really quick tutorial. Uh, I probably should have went over this in one of my first tutorial. I think, yeah, I should have went over it in the second tutorial, but um, I'll do it now anyway. Uh, so before we were using system uh, print lin, so we use the ln, um, and when we printed something out, if we hit shift F6, it just printed it out. So basically what this is doing is it's printing out hello and then it's going to skip down to the next line. So if we print something else out after this, we go system.out.println. Um, this statement, um, I love cheese, will be on the next line underneath hello. So it'll say hello, go to the next line, then it'll say I love cheese. There's another print statement that just um, writes stuff on the same line. So I'll just show you guys. It's hard to explain. System dot out dot print. So you don't put print ln. So let's say my name is Anthony. So it's gonna print out Anthony on the first line, and then hello on that same line and then it's going to print out I love cheese on the next line down. So let's run it and I'll explain it again. So it says my name is Anthony and then on the same line it says hello and then it says I love cheese. So basically what it's doing is whenever you say print it says print this out then stay on this line and then whenever you have print line it says print this out then go down to the next line. So it's just two types of print statements. Uh, they do the same thing essentially except one brings it down to the next line, the other one doesn't. So that's it for this tutorial, it's pretty easy. So uh, if you guys have any questions, just leave it down in the comments um, and I'll see you guys next tutorial. See ya.